Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to update your Siri to the new Siri UI 2.0 that looks like this. Now, you may remember when Apple announced iOS 18 and Apple Intelligence, a new UI for Siri was also shown off, but Apple has yet to add this new update to the iPhone running iOS 18. As of right now, iOS 18 still features the old Siri UI, but it is possible to actually get the new Siri UI to be running on your device right now if you're running iOS was 18 and not only can you get the new UI you can get these really sweet new animations but you can get it on basically any iPhone I've tested this method on several iPhones and it seems to be working on pretty much every single iPhone now there's a few things to mention obviously you have to be running iOS 18 number two you must turn off find my iPhone from the settings on your iPhone and keep in mind that you can enable find my right after this tutorial so make sure you turn off find my on your device and the third thing I would like to mention is that please do not try this on your primary device because we're going to be using a computer to install a file onto our iPhones to enable the new Siri UI, which isn't officially out just yet. So something could happen in the process and you could lose data or some data may be corrupted. So if you're going to do this, proceed with cautious and don't try this on your primary device. This is more of a fun tutorial to update your Siri from the old Siri UI to the new Siri UI, which I'm sure most of you guys would prefer. So let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is make sure you connect your iPhone to your computer and download the Kawabunga Lite application. It's available for Mac and it's also available for Windows. Now mine is running Mac OS 12 or later, so make sure you download the one for you. So go ahead and download it here and then go into your downloads folder and just try to launch the application. Now the first time you try to launch it on a Mac, it's going to tell you that this is untrusted developers, so you've got to give it permission. So let's head on over into system preferences here and under system preferences, we're gonna go into privacy and security. We're gonna scroll down and then we're going to go over into the section where it's asking us if we want to go ahead and run this application on our iPhone. So right there it is, Kawabunga open anyway and then enter your passcode for your mac the same one you use to unlock your computer and once you enter your passcode just click on open right there and now the kawabunga app is open now as i mentioned all the links will be down below the second website you want to go to is the actual tutorial page so it is this one right here this gives you a step by step so basically this is what i'm going to show you now make sure you download the kawabunga app and on the fourth step there's a file that you need to download which is this one here make sure you download the file obviously and save it to your downloads and now with your iPhone connected to your computer, go into the Kawabunga app right here and then make sure your iPhone is selected right there and then go into custom operations right here. Now here you wanna go ahead and import the file that we just downloaded. So make sure you go to download folders, Siri Kawabunga file for iOS 18. Let's go ahead and select that and then click on edit once it is imported and then enable just like so. Now down here you have the apply button. After that, just make sure you click apply and once you click apply, your iPhone will restart. Okay, so I'm gonna click apply tweak on my computer and let's go ahead and do that. And right now you see that my iPhone has restarted. As you can see right now, it is restarting my iPhone and let's wait for the boot up. Once the iPhone boots up, there's a few things you need to keep in mind. You must make sure you follow these steps as I'm showing you right here in order to preserve any data that you may want to preserve on your device. If you do wish to proceed on a personal device, which I don't recommend, let's go ahead and wait for the boot up here. And once it is successfully powered up, it's gonna take you through the process here to install this file. Here we go, we get greeted with hello, enter your passcode, the same one you use to unlock your device, select your language, click trust for your computer, go ahead and enter your passcode once again, USA for me, continue. Right here, this is very, very important. Make sure you click on continue with partial setup. Super important, continue with partial setup. Not the blue button, the one below it right here, partial setup and then just go ahead and continue with the setup process set up for myself if this is your own iPhone and we're all set and ready to go. As you can see right here, we're going through the uh, setup process just like if it was a new iPhone and here we are. So now if we go and press on the side button, you'll see this prompt right here, click okay and then boom, the new Siri UI is now officially installed. And there you guys have it again. Do not try this on your primary device, guys. This is just a simple tutorial for fun so that you guys can get that new Siri UI now. But I recommend you do this on a secondary device. Just be cautious. Thank you for watching. Again, all the links will be available down below. I hope you guys enjoy the video and enjoy the Siri UI. And I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.